In recent weeks, a researcher known here as Avi Loeb has published and commented on updates that have changed the tone of the Atlas investigation. The two most specific pieces of information he has highlighted are, one, the radio detection of hydroxyl OH absorption in Meerkat, and two, recent images showing a complex network of jets after perihelion, both come amid a push for high-resolution data, some of which appears to be withheld. Avi Loeb has just released a new data set that is being hailed as a turning point in the study of the enigmatic body known as ATLAS. The most notable highlight of the report is the recording of the first radio signal from the object made by the Meerkat Radio Telescope in South Africa. The observations revealed the presence of absorption signals related to hydroxyl OH molecules, a chemical signature typically only seen during the melting or sublimation of ice on the surface of an object. According to Avi Loeb, this is evidence that Atlas is not dead cold, as many people once thought, but is experiencing strong thermal activity, erupting material when exposed to radiation from the sun. Some scientists even believe that if these signals are confirmed to be stable, Atlas could reveal clues about the mysterious thermodynamic mechanisms taking place at the edge of the solar system, a place that is still full of questions and conspiracy theories about its origin. Meanwhile, the newly obtained images have revealed a complex network of jets appearing after perihelion, further reinforcing the hypothesis that Atlas is still active and may be undergoing structural changes in real time. In a series of optical images taken on November 8, overlapping exposures reveal a giant halo extending some 500 zero kilometers with at least seven distinct jets extending from the object. According to Avi Loeb, these structures could simply be pockets of melting ice on the surface, like on a regular comet. But they could also be clusters of propulsion engines, a potential sign of an extraterrestrial technological artifact. He stressed that the technological hypothesis should be kept open until there is enough data to confirm it as any hasty conclusions could cause humanity to miss out on a revolutionary discovery. Operationally, Loeb said that on March 16, Atlas is scheduled to fly by Jupiter at a distance of about 53 million km. Juno then could use its dipole antenna to scan for radio signals in the low frequency range of 50 hertzes to 40 megahertzes, a rare opportunity to detect forms of radiation that are nearly impossible to observe from Earth. If Juno picks up the signal, it could provide the first clue to some form of artificial activity in interplanetary space, something scientists have been cautiously but relentlessly eager to explore Measurements from the Meerkat radio telescope have provided important physical evidence that Atlas is more than just a bare mass of ice drifting through space. Avi Loeb stressed that the detected signals appear as absorptions, not emissions, indicating that there is a layer of cold gas between the object and a warmer source of radiation behind it. This suggests that complex material interactions are taking place around Atlas. The width of the signal matches perfectly the theoretical value for a surface with a temperature consistent with Atlas's distance from the sun, confirming that this is a real physical phenomenon and not random noise. Loeb also analyzed Atlas's velocity and orbital angle, showing that the data match exactly with the measured Doppler shift reinforcing the authenticity of the radio signal. Loeb admits, however, that these findings only confirm Atlas's physical activity and do not answer the biggest question. Is it 
a natural comet or an artificially propelled object. He argues that the question hangs between science and theory where each signal could be a clue from another intelligence in the universe. The superimposed images taken on November 8th offer a striking and enigmatic view of Atlas. They are made up of 24 frames using a green filter each 530 seconds long. Along with a few additional frames in the red and blue ranges, the resulting composite image shows a huge persistent halo and at least seven jets emanating from the object, some of which are directed toward the sun, a rare phenomenon that is difficult to explain conventionally. The observers cited by Avi Loeb say the images were taken under less than ideal conditions, bright moonlight and near dusk, which can easily distort light. However, Atlas's optical features appear clear and consistent in every frame. This, Loeb says, further strengthens the hypothesis that the jets are real and not an optical aberration or a mechanical error. From the available data, Loeb proposes two main physical explanations, both of which deserve serious consideration. The first is a natural hypothesis. The jets could originate from local ice patches in the comet's nucleus, where gas and dust are violently released when subjected to heat, forming jets of different directions. This process is similar to the mechanism of traditional comets and could even lead to the phenomenon of antimatter tails under special conditions. The second is the technological hypothesis. These jets have a surprisingly consistent profile with directional thrusters or attitude control propulsion systems suggesting the structure of a spacecraft or device of artificial design. Avi Loeb does not take sides in either hypothesis. He calls on the scientific community to remain neutral, transparent, and open access to high resolution images for independent verification. Only with better data can we separate what is natural from what is technological and whether Atlas is just a comet or something beyond human imagination. He says, one of the highlights of Avi Loeb's speech was his frustration with the delay in releasing scientific data. He said the clearest close-up images of Atlas taken by the high-rise camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter on October 23 are available but not yet publicly available. With a resolution of about 30 meters per pixel, these images far surpass any data from the ground or even Hubble. Loeb criticized the slow response of regulatory agencies, saying that official scientific requests were overlooked while responses to the media or high-level figures were quicker, a clear double standard. He warned that withholding data could cause researchers to miss the most important phase of Atlas's operation. This is a golden time for observations. Lobby emphasized every hour of delayed data is an hour of lost opportunity to better understand this strange visitor passing through the solar system. Avi Loeb highlighted a remarkable paradox Atlas's unusual acceleration does not correspond to any debris cloud as predicted. Interferometric measurements showed that the object's orbit was significantly off, forcing the model to factor in the non-gravity acceleration. If this force were caused by gas injection, Atlas would have lost 116 of its mass, equivalent to billions of tons of material enough to create a noticeable bright cloud, but in fact, it did not. According to Loeb, there are only two possibilities. Either there is an unknown natural mechanism or Atlas is being driven by some form of artificial propulsion that does not produce radioactive material. 
He called for observations of the target in the coming weeks to determine how the acceleration changes when Atlas is impacted by the sun, as that could reveal the true nature of the phenomenon. Loeb also proposed using Juno in March 2026, when Atlas will fly by Jupiter to scan the 50 hertzes, 40 megahertzes band for unusual radio signals. Notably, Atlas's trajectory is only about nine degrees away from the 1,977 wow signal, making the hypothesis of a technological origin even more appealing. Meerkat's detection of the hydroxyl molecule OH suggests there is molecular material for further radio study. The next step, Loeb said, is to examine the synchrotron emission for a signal that could indicate artificial activity. While cautious, he continued to criticize the delay in releasing the data, arguing that only continuous and transparent international observations will help answer the question, is Atlas a natural comet or a technological messenger from the far reaches of space? At the end of the update, Avi Loeb summarizes the latest findings on Atlas. A celestial body that is challenging the understanding of planetary science. He confirmed the detection of a hydroxyl OH radio signal with a precise Doppler shift in late October, marking the first time Atlas had recorded a definitive radio signal. In addition, a complex jet network with at least seven active jets and a halo about 500 zero kilometers wide was mapped, including jets pointing towards the sun, which is rare for natural comets. Orbital models show that Atlas has undergone a significant microgravity acceleration, but no corresponding debris cloud. If the acceleration had come from gas injection, the object would have lost 116th of its mass, or more than 5 billion tons, which would have created a recognizable bright cloud. Its absence raises the big question, what force could have produced the acceleration without the corresponding mass loss? Optical observations show that Atlas brightens rapidly and shifts toward the blue near perihelion, unlike a typical comet Meanwhile, high-resolution images from early October have yet to be released, delaying analysis. Loeb called for the data to be released soon to determine the object's true nature. Notably, Atlas's orbit originated from an area only about 9 degrees. From the direction of the 1,977 WOW signal, Atlas is expected to fly by Jupiter at a distance of 53 million kilometers in early 2026, opening the door for Juno to scan the 50 hertzes to 40 megahertzes frequency range for additional radio signals. Atlas is currently being monitored by more than 200 observatories worldwide, and that number is expected to increase as the object becomes more visible, according to Loeb. We currently have three measurable physical signals, the OH signal, the jet network, and the anti-gravity acceleration, but we still lack key data, such as the unreleased high-rise image and synchronous radio monitoring. He concludes, if Atlas is indeed losing mass as predicted, it is a very active comet, but if not, we may be witnessing a form of propulsion that humanity has never seen before.